All right, good morning guys. There was two handouts to pick up, so let me go ahead and tell you what those are and what our plan is for today. So if y'all would get this sorted out, please. Um, so, remember I did push the quiz back, so it was going to be today, but I pushed it back to Monday. So, a uh, couple other things you're going to do today is I'm going to ask you to get a little bit more practice on the improper integrals like we talked about last class. That's one of the handouts you picked up, number 12. Then I will ask you to finish up assignment 11. So you guys worked on that one last time, but I think I only asked you to get to like question six or so. Does that sound right? Yes. So, so you got a couple more of those to go. Um, and then from like four classes ago, assignment nine and 10, we did the first and last page of each of those. You still don't have to do the middle page. We will review those another day. But if somehow you didn't have those finished, I had not asked you to do those for homework. So I need you to get those done and finished so that we can have a good kind of stopping place. But before we talk about assignment 12 for just a second, <coughs> uh, the other handout you picked up is number 13, which is the review topics. So if you would like to look at that just very briefly, I put at the top the couple AB topics we have talked about this year, so you should expect questions from those. Maybe a question or two on slope fields, question or two using the quotient rule, question or well, probably all of those, the derivative of sine, cosine, tangent, cosecant, cotangent. We talked about how to figure those up, but really you should have those memorized. And then of course you substitution, something that we've practiced this year. That's an AB topic. So those will be on your quiz. Again, not like 50 of those, but I do want to give you some points for reviewing those. And then of course the three big BC topics that we've done thus far. Partial fractions was the first one that we did. So notice on this review, it points out that um, assignments five and seven in your binder should be over partial fractions. So if you feel like you need to practice those more, that's one place you could look. I also directly linked the Khan Academy to partial fractions. So that's completely optional Khan Academy. But if you know partial fractions is a weakness of yours, or if you're not sure if it's a weakness of yours, Maybe you should go over there and practice a couple until you're sure that you're ready for that on the quiz. Same idea with integration by parts, same idea with improper intervals. So those are the topics. And then I have just five questions that go along with this. So this is not necessarily a review that's you know making you practice a lot because you've already practiced a lot. But the first four questions are just forcing you to put into words and think about how would you know if it was a use substitution question Versus number two, how would you know it's partial fractions? Versus number three, how do you know it's integration by parts? Versus number four, how do you know it's an improper interval? So if you're not sure how to answer that, you need to ask sometime today because on your quiz next class, I'm not going to tell you in the directions. It's not gonna say solve this by integration by parts. You have to recognize, oh, it looks like this, which means it's probably integration by parts. And then number five is just a table question uh, quotient rule. So I do want you to do those five questions. It's just obviously not going to take you very long on that. Okay, so the part I would like to do with you as a quick little friendly reminder would be uh, looking at this assignment 12. I'd like to start off the first couple with you. As a reminder. I have an excuse letter. Who is that? Ms. Aaron. Why is she making you late? I had to check out a book from her. Okay. Okay, there is one, if you want to go ahead and write this down, you do not have to memorize this before Monday's quiz, but this is one of those integration things you will need to memorize before the BC exam, but it does come up in one of the questions. So if you wanted to integrate something like that on the left, that's how it integrates there on the right. So just copy that down to the top of your page, and when you get to one that looks like that and or you don't know how to integrate it, it's probably that one.
Okay, now this doesn't have a lot of other questions to it. It's actually only got six more. I personally thought that these were um, good difficulty wise. I feel like assignment 11 that we did last time, I felt like some of those were a little excessively difficult. Um, but let's go ahead and talk through the first two together as a group, just as a quick little reminder, and then you can do the others more at your own pace. Okay. One thing I did not do a good job of last class, and so I looked up and found a better straight up definition of improper integrals, is I said this part last time, but in question two, what stands out to you about this that makes it an improper integral type of question? Right. Infinity and or negative infinity as part of your limits of integration. The part I did not do a good job of saying and next year I will definitely add it to the notes to make sure that it gets addressed but question one to me doesn't look like an improper integral right away but the reason why it's an improper integral is what okay so we would say it's not continuous at x equals four <clears throat> so since we're trying to integrate from 0 to 4, everything from 0 to 4 needs to work. And so 4 gives you division by 0. So if this is not, if this gives you division by 0, this is called the integrand. The integrand is the thing that you integrate. Then that's the number you need to throw or you need to work around. So instead of integrating 0 to 4, we're going to integrate from what to what? Okay, and then to deal with the t, we're going to say that we can take the limit as t approaches what? Or from the left. Or from the left. If you're going from 0 to 4 and you can't plug in 4, you wouldn't do 0 to 4 to the right. Because if you do 4 to the right, you're going to hit 0 and a little bit more than that. And we're trying to avoid hitting 0 in the denominator. Okay, otherwise this stuff stays the same. I'm going to re... I'm going to rewrite it with exponent rules there. And then, <clears throat> again, what varies greatly in these questions is the integration. Obviously, undoing power rule is going to be quicker than u substitution. U substitution is probably going to be quicker than partial fractions or integration by parts. But, uh, you know, that's just how it goes. Sometimes the integration takes more work and takes more steps. But for this question, you could either do u substitution, and this was a big, big, big thing that first period one to ask a lot about. If I undo this power rule, I should first raise the power by one. So that would be this. And what else do I need to do? Okay, divide by the new power and dividing by half is the same as multiplying by two. So I'm gonna put that out front. That's still not enough though. Right, If again, this is the antiderivative. So if you're skipping u substitution, you have to, have to, have to check your work by taking the derivative. The derivative of this is not that, even with the two. Because the derivative of this is gonna create a negative one because the chain rule, and there's not a negative one here. So. Either A, just do U substitution to know where that negative 2 comes from, or if you can see it by checking your work, then I guess sometimes you don't have to. Okay, the rest of this question is going to fly pretty quickly here. Plugging in the T and the 0 is what we call the fundamental theorem of algebra, or algebra, calculus. This is the fundamental theorem of calculus, knowing how to deal with those bounds. And I'm gonna try to make a mistake or two here so you guys can tell me what I do wrong. If I do the limit of this, if I try to deal with this limit now, and I plug in, so four from the left, is that bigger than four or smaller than four? Smaller. Okay, slightly smaller. Because if it was slightly bigger, 
4 minus a number slightly bigger than 4 would be the square root of something negative, which we're trying to avoid. Since it's slightly smaller, that's not a problem. So what does this go to? Okay. And then over here, there's no t's to plug it into, so this stays square root of 4. Okay, so the answer is negative 2 then? Okay. Times the negative 2. I know that seems obvious that you need to keep your work nice and neat enough that you don't forget about that negative 2, but that happens a lot. So. So the integration's nothing new, the limit's nothing new. Thinking about setting this up and why this was not continuous was what was kind of different about this one. Okay, let's look at one more question together. Again, just kind of as a fresh reminder. So improper integral. So you should know, wait, that's the one where I'm going to switch it to a T or maybe even T and B if you have to do more than one. Your integration is still going to work out the same way. Hopefully it's undoing power rule. Could be U substitution, could be integration by parts, could be partial fractions, etc., etc., etc. This one's not too bad. How would I integrate x to the negative 3? Okay, add 1 to the exponent, and then what? Okay, and then divide by your new exponent. I'll pull that out front. Since it's a constant, we can do it at the end. And this is 2 to t. Now do remember, if we had to do u substitution here, make sure you change the bounds. U, or 2 to t makes sense for x, but if I had done u substitution, make sure you change the 2 for u's and the t for u's also. Okay, I'm going to put one more suggestion in here and then I think you're going to be good to go. Instead of calling this x to the negative 2, call it 1 over x to the positive 2, and then we'll plug in t. Subtract, and again, instead of calling this x to the negative 2, think of it as 1 over x to the positive 2, but we'll plug in a 2 into that. 2 squared would be 4. You really want to do that because because of this negative exponent, that puts this in the denominator, and that's going to be important for the limit. Because what is the limit as t approaches infinity of 1 over t squared? Very good. And then there's no t's to plug in, so I can't do anything with that. Looks like the answer should amount to positive an eighth. So some of the questions will still be difficult. But more or less, it's trying to connect these different calculus topics that you guys have seen before. So what I would like you to do is I would like you to stick with this worksheet first. This assignment 12, I feel like, again, I feel like the difficulty of these are just a touch easier than assignment 11. The answers to all six of these are on the bottom of the back page. So as you work question three, four, five, six, if you don't have those answers, then you need to try to find your mistake slash work with your neighbor, slash call me over and let me help. So do that first, then go back to assignment 11, finish up the couple that you may not have done last class, go back to assignments 9 and 10, make sure that you have the first and last page finished. Since I need to, I gotta give you a cutoff so that I can give you homework grades for that. You don't have to do the middle page of those still. And then finally the five questions on the unit one review topics. Um, Sounds like a lot, but I it went pretty quick first period. The last thing I would say that's not up there other than under homework, on the review, again, I've got the Khan Academy's link and the assignments in your binder. So even if you think you are graded all of these, you surely think one of them is harder than the other. So you could go back and make sure you memorize the derivative of the trig functions. You could force yourself to do the Khan Academy on integration by parts. You can force yourself to make sure you remember the formula for integration by parts. So any of the studying that you need to do, uh, if you have class time, please consider doing that. Okay, any questions about the plan today or general questions about the quiz? 
これ。Huh? What are you quizzing about? That's what this number 13 tells you. These are the things that will be on your quiz. A couple of AB things and the three BC things we've done. Okay, I'm going to give you a bit to work and then I'll come around and try to help out. Uh, I do have this assignment 12 worked out also on my paper, so if you can't find the answer and you can't find your mistake and you can't figure it out, you're welcome to come look at my paper and see if that gives you a quick fix. Okay, I was right. Yeah. You did, I you already did the third one? I... I was just how do you do it so e much? Thing. I just always like I always forget how to how to integrate like the e e to the something x. Okay. Well, what's the derivative of e to the something x? Um, oh my god. What's the derivative of e to the x? E to the x. Okay. So then the derivative of e to the three x needs the e to the three x, but then you might have to balance something out like a third to balance out your chain rule. Or do you use substitution if you don't want to try to undo the chain rule? Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. Shit. I thought it was that. I just had to make sure. Because anyways, that's on the answer. Yeah. Also, I haven't 100% finished the quiz yet, making the quiz. You know what that means, right? No. So you have to be nice to me today. Oh, okay. No. <laughs> I, I still have the authority to make it harder, is my point. It's not been, I haven't made my copies yet. I like your shirt. <laughs> Thank you. How's your day? Oh, it's good, but I want you to get to work, so. You guys know, like, when you're rowdy in class and stuff, your teachers give you more busy work, right? Yes. You know that's the thing? Is it? <laughs> yes, of course. We had a meeting just this week where one of our assistant principals told us our worst enemy was downtime. Because when it's downtime, y'all get in trouble. No calculator needed. Stuff we've done doesn't need a calculator. Well, the problem is if I gave you a definite integral that had the limits, unless one of the limits was infinity, you could just throw it in your calculator and just get the answer. And then I'm not test I'm not really Absolutely. testing you if you know what you're doing. So that's why it's got to be no calculator. Also, I gave my first uh, AB quiz today, over limits, and so far they're, they're smoking, y'all. <laughs> they're doing very good on it. 
last year? Yeah, com compared to how y'all did on it last year versus this group. Oh. I didn't really get it. I just I was just I just was just it's 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 third period. Was it the No, this is limits. Like their test on limits. The first big test of the year. I didn't do the unit circle many oh, quizzes. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Thomas, I'm pretty sure if I switch to that period, I would still be able to do BC work because all my friends are in there. Uh, what does that got to do with anything? I want to hang out with my friends. Well, you wouldn't be enrolled in BC, so that wouldn't work. Uh, uh, so arc side one. That's one. Oh. So you don't have like up there. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
much of it must be the uh but then it can go down to is it a row? Any last questions? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
I started bringing my pocket watch to take my phone out. Yeah. 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 If I have like four clocks and not any of them work, that one worked last year, but I don't know. It didn't work when I came back. Just, I bet it just needs to. I think I did run out of batteries, though. Oh. Well, that one's a cool one because it goes backwards, uh, normal. But then you also have to do like some reflections to figure out the time and stuff. So yeah, that sounds. But it's never worked. It was a hand me down from another teacher. Yeah. It's neat though. Yeah, I wish it worked, but not enough to go buy another one for thirty bucks. That's fine. Although I would put the negative three way up here, so I don't have to worry about it till the end, but it's fine there. And then we can plug in four and
You will be flipping burgers if you don't. Do <laughs> <laughs> so
is the same. It's 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 the same.
my answer page. This makes me very unhappy.
I hope not. And then you use That's right. I hope so. It's my words. Oh. No, this is mine. Yeah. I don't know. Are you all finished? Oh, yeah. You said it. No, I said it was well, you guys are just under 45 minutes. Still a lot of time. I don't want you to have to do any of this for homework, including studying, but that's going to depend on you. But we still got to the same answer. <laughs> Yeah, because he did like some wacky thing. He did some wacky thing. Yeah, it's a new person. We just want to tell him. I don't know. 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 Yeah, I remember. We've done these, but I just I <laughs> There's also like just a couple questions per worksheet. I know, it's just I, I don't like these uh the ones where you gotta like split it up and then like do all the goofy stuff. Wait, but it's not that hard. It isn't, it's just it's just a lot of writing. I got two more years of What's your guess? Uh, how do you take C? Do you guess what I'm saying? 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 Do you
So for the questions like this, if they're going to be on the test, do you have to do it mathematically or can you just like draw it? Because I saw on the, on the key you did like, you know, you sub the T and stuff. On my key that I had up here? No. Oh, on that online? On online. Oh, that's not my work. No. Oh. What's wrong with that? I don't think that's the right answer, is it? Well, the answer is P less than 1, which is the same. P less than or equal to 0. That's not the same. Oh, it isn't? No. Why not? Well, because you're saying anything less than 0, so how about negative 1 half? Is that not? <laughs> well, P less than 1, can it also be negative 1 half? Okay, then how about positive 1 half? Oh, right. So you're missing some answers that way. Okay. Thank that you. one's the hard one. If you finish that, if you go through all that question at the end, most of that stuff is just constants. And you're really just worried about the x to some power. You're just trying to make sure that if you did the limit, it would go to zero and not keep going to infinity. Okay. So there's a little bit of a hint. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, does anybody have anything I can come help with? No, I just did my own thing. I just copy this Yeah, so this is what I was telling him. Okay, so this is the so this is a number, this is a number. Those being numbers have nothing to do about whether this thing goes to infinity or not. This is is what you're trying to plug in here. So we need to make sure that this limit exists. So depending on what P is, like if you think of like, if you have x to the n and n just keeps just getting bigger, that's going to go to infinity, right? Like, but if it's exponent is negative n, 
the teacher makes you like then that's just going to go to zero, right? <laughs> so it's along those lines where you're trying to figure out how to make sure that that doesn't become negative. Because if this is other like a record, well, for your case, if this is negative, it flips on the numerator and it's other than the numerator. So you want to go, so it has to be negative. So you're out there, you're out there, Right, you want to leave it in the denominator because you want the denominator. The other one is the fraction goes to zero. That's fine. But if you let this flip up with a negative exponent, then it goes to zero. You really just need to make sure that that is positive. Or I'm sorry, can I rather than the other one? I'm sorry, what is it for me? So materialistic. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh yeah. Yeah. So you just plug in a zero or negative and it went up. So you want that to be less than one. So like if you plug in a negative one, you can plug in a negative one. That's a really hard one. I'm not too worried about that one. It doesn't help to yeah. do like all this other work that yeah. didn't even matter in the end. It really should have focused like more on the back of your ass. It like helps to like whatever all the top numbers bigger than the bottom. Oh yeah, yeah. 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 You got nine and ten done? You got all the stuff done? Yes, sir. Yeah. 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 Yeah, when you're hiding something. Yeah, I can do it. I can do it for homework. This time, just this time. Oh, I can put this stuff on homework too. Yeah. 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 Yes. 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 What? What's the actual You're good. Yeah. Oh. Is it business? Yeah. Like, yeah. Just something I said to be fair. Yeah. No, I know. Like, it just has one minute to buy those. Or like, you know, like, you remember self-fields? Like, business is what I feel like. Uh, like, I mean, I feel like so we can do it an hour. I remember. Like, 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 oh, I agree, but like, she comes yeah. after like, maybe like, Oh, well, all right. Business is what I feel like. So it's not like a final line. Yeah, that's a good idea. It's just like a like 10 hours. Now, if it was in terms of pies, like you would have to ask yourself a ton of That actually would be yeah, pretty cool. There's still business in this. Not even circle. Like like oh. Hello? I will let him know. When is he checking out? Okay. All right. Um, 445. 445. 445? Yeah. Well, 445? Yeah. <laughs> 445. I'm getting checked out. They're making me stay next to her. Yeah, you gotta stay longer than everybody else. Yeah. Okay. Like now you're, you're gone, you're gone. Bye. You didn't need any help before you left? Hmm? You don't need any help before you left? No, I shouldn't talk. Oh, I get it. I have to do that. Hey. What are you doing?
I hope that this none of you guys feel this way on Monday, like the meme says for your quiz. Wait, is there a Harvard version of the Yeah. Wait, is there actually a Harvard version? You said maybe. Yeah, of course. I four. You're not going to give me the Harvard version. Well, you don't seem worried, so. Why am I worried? Well, then you need to show it. Wait, it's here. What's your name? It's like the top. It's not like the top. Oh, I just got a second. Let's start up now. That has to be. That's a good one. So you don't want to do it. Yeah, you got a whole section. I don't know who it is. This guy from is our favorite partner. I do. Okay. The issue I have is that you're going to put this that it's in Google Slides, specifically. They had a new drive to it's two years Mr. Tom's book. No. So is it because, like, if this is negative, then the T goes up to the top so it doesn't go to infinity when this goes really small? Yes, because since you're trying to plug in zero for t, mm -hmm. if this goes to zero, anytime you have a fraction that the denominator is heading to zero, it means your whole fraction is going to infinity. So you really need this to flip up. So you need the exponent to be negative so that it moves up to the denominator or numerator. Okay, so the numerator can be zero. That's not a problem. You just get zero. Mm -hmm. So I'm, okay. I believe that's what you said. Yeah, thanks. I've tried Mass Effect 1 like five times and I always quit after like 30 minutes. Yeah, there's, it's a lot of a game and to get the best endings for all of the, the games you kind of have to do, you kind of have to do everything, otherwise a lot of the characters uh, die before the third game and then they don't show up in the third game and you don't 
uh, get the best ending. So there is there's a lot of stuff to do. Uh, I don't try so to get kind of ending because that's too much. But I played the original Knights of the Old Republic. And yeah. I was like, I'm not like a big Star Wars guy, but I love that game. It yeah. was so good. It was a good game. First. And good so game. like Mass Effect is just like right up the alley, but I waited too long to play it, and then now it just feels kind of dated. So yeah, I, I can understand that. It's a little that. clunkier. Yeah. Yeah. I can understand that. That's why I've never actually played Fallout 3. Because like Fallout 3, good game. Real good game, but the no, you gotta play. You gotta play three. But three, three, the, three is the most polished Fallout. Best. Yeah, it's it's got the best story. It's got the best. It's got the best uh, everything there. The, the Fallout three. Yeah. Bethesda. You talking Bethesda games? Yes. Or, yes. Or all of them. Fallout of the Fallout. Fallout three has the best story of any of the Fallout. It has the best. Three is by far the most polished game. Yeah, and then it's not like the biggest by any means. Fallout but Four just has it has it has a couple uh, mechanics that are slightly better. Like I like the power I like armor system in Fallout that. Four. The the map size is nicer, yes. and the the power armor system is a better system, and the perk system is a better system. But but other than that, Fallout Three is just a factually better game. Yeah, you need to play three if you haven't played three. That was my first one, and it's just like the like vault experience at the beginning and everything is just very well done. But it, I, what I really wish they would do is I wish that they 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 would do pretty much a remaster of that game uh, where they update the power armor and the perk system, but leave everything else the same, pretty much. Well, that won't happen. That, Maybe with it, PC mods. It, it won't ever happen, but you know. I, it would be, I think it would make it a perfect game. Now see, I did play 4 to death, and I actually almost platinumed 4. Like I played it until you have to like pick a side to finish the game, and I just saved it, finished it, loaded, finished it, you know what I mean? Yes. But I didn't get platinum because I played it when it first came out, and there was a settlement bug where you couldn't get everyone to the right happiness. Yeah. And there was all these like tips, like. Uh, shoot so and so in the head, and then like your overall happiness goes up or something, and like none of it worked. Yeah, I was so because I I had platinum, except that that was bugged at the time. Yeah, I I remember when that was that was around because that was when my dad was playing through it, um, and he, he did all of he did all of the all of Preston Garvey's quests as soon as Preston Garvey gave them to him. So he he went and he did all of the settlements before he even really started. Playing oh wow. The game. So, you know. That's interesting. Yeah, it's, he has a he has an interesting way of playing games because he plays he played Fallout like that. He plays when he plays Skyrim. He plays outside of when he goes and plans to go into dungeons. Uh, he just wears clothes and and he just he plays the whole game in just normal clothes. He doesn't wear armor. And, and I have not played Skyrim either. It's a it's a it's a pretty good game and it's the best of the Elder Scrolls series. You know what I really like about Fallout Three that I don't think they've done since is there's like a little mini story where you like find like a virtual reality device yeah. yeah. and then you're like in like this like seventies neighborhood everything's like dated and stuff that was very yeah cool. when you have to when you have to do the, the whole memory lounge I thought you didn't play three how do you know all that because my dad played it. oh okay I never I never played it that was super cool but I watched my dad play through it I watched him play three I watched him play Four and I watched him play New Vegas. Uh, and I watched him play New Vegas is fun too, but it's kind of buggy. Yeah, and and I didn't. I I thought the story was a little little less interesting in that one. It, it was fine. The quest lines were fine, but I thought it was. I beat it like two different ways, I think. And I remember specifically one was like very anticlimactic. It was like, oh, that's it. Yeah. Wait, like, like, like Fallout 1? No, New Vegas. I can't play 1 or 2. They're too dated. They're too it's just, it's Fallout 2, Fallout 2, the story is really good. Oh no, I'm sure they are good, but yeah. I'm just saying. It's it's because it's, it's just a whole different style of game, though. Somebody, I saw there was a user-made mod where they're remaking 1 or 2 in 3 dimensions. I'm pretty sure it's they're Probably remaking... 
Yeah, yeah I think I think they're remaking the Fallout 2 as a, a 3D game. They no. just want they just want a 3D render of. Uh, I saw that. What's his name? I saw that on the on the internet too. See, games like that are the ones that need remasters. Yeah. I'm sick of them remastering these games that like don't really need it. They don't need to remaster Skyrim again. Yeah. It's already it's, it's good. They got it. It's fine. It's still kind of buggy, but you know that's that's just Bethesda. Does Fallout does Fallout Three still have like the enclave? Is that the whole uh, yeah, Fallout Three is the enclave and the Brotherhood of Steel. Um, Did you watch the Fallout TV show? I I have I have not gotten around to it. I was busy when my when okay. my the rest of my that's family not great. watched it. It's not is done. <laughs> Yeah, Fallout 3 is Fallout 3 is on on the Brotherhood, and then uh, Fallout 4 you get a bunch of a bunch of factions because you got the Railroad, the Man Man, the Brotherhood, and about Institute. Yeah, it's it's kind of the big battle, the story, but you can side with us. They made like the uh, yeah, they made sense. I don't really know the story. Is like what are we saying? The only one I really know the story is the Institute. Fallout Four, the the Institute makes sense, um, and you're trying to find your son. Oh, yeah. To, to me, that's kind of lame. Yeah, I don't know. I don't like that story. It's it's a it's a, it's kind of a it's kind of a straightforward linear kind of boring storyline. It's not it's not as well put together. And the and the side quests in that game aren't as aren't as interesting. People were very disappointed with four at first when yeah. it first came out. No, you're looking for your dad. Yeah. But in three, it's like. I guess that was the point, but it didn't seem like it mattered that much. I nah, guess. <laughs> your dad's actually at, at kind of ends up being kind of a side point. The, yeah, the, the like I didn't even remember that. Because so. you, you you start off looking for your dad, but then you get involved with like the Brotherhood and stuff, and you have to do. Like, the and you do that big march at the end for like yeah. DCE. Yeah, that's pretty cool. It's it's a it's a great sequence when you're when you're following Liberty Prime. Wait, Liberty Liberty Prime is Fallout Three. Three and Uh, no. It's, well, it's in Fallout Fallout Three is when you actually do like a Liberty Prime. You do Liberty Prime and you follow Liberty Prime around. And you do the whole quest line of the way to it. Fallout 4, I think, what did they have? I think the Prime is an easy Fallout 4, but not really like a, a thing that you can do anything. I'm sure they referenced it or something, yeah. but... I think, I think there's a quest where you have to go get a part of Liberty Prime for the Brotherhood or something, but the Fallout 3 is the only one where you actually like, interact with Liberty Prime. You know, like the stuff that's in the um, Yeah, there's a I I think the every time that a gek shows up in the game, they it's a on it in some way. Or it's a it's a it's a major plot point in that game. Because Fallout, uh, Fallout 2, Fallout 2, the gek, was the, the gek was the main, the main thing. But it was like way different from like how the gek was. Yeah, uh, the gek, the gek is just a terraforming device. That's what it is. Yeah, I'm saying. What are y'all doing? Yeah, I know. The the Meyer. The yeah, Meyer was made with the I play I, I, I do play some different things. I am I think I haven't played as much as my the rest of my family, so I'm only like one seventy eight. Like, like my dad is like level five hundred and something. Why did you say that? Like great people just want to remake that is <laughs> have you ever played the Have you ever played the Wasteland games? 
Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's like they're like Fallout type games, but they're more like the first one or two, but modernized a little bit. I played three some, but it's, it's kind of tough because you like make decisions sometimes, and it's like, oh, so and so's dead. Yeah, and it's like, all right, well, that was a third of my team, so now I can't do anything. That's, I mean, that's kind of like one of the reasons why people stop playing Mass Effect sometimes, is because because you can do that in Mass Effect. Um, if you if you don't if you're not careful, you can just kill kill off characters sometimes. I need to finish that. I'm, I've got like several, a couple hundred hours in Elden Ring and I didn't finish. Have you done the DLC? I want, to, uh -uh. I want to play. It's really hard. I want to play a, a Souls like game, but I just I haven't had time or wanted to put in the effort to do that. Elden Ring's a pretty good one. To do that for because it was pretty much my first one that I stuck with. Okay. But you have to learn how to roll. Yeah. You have to be very good at rolling and decent at blocking helps. Okay. And then you just have to have lots of patience because you'll die a lot at first as you learn. You get to a new enemy and you don't know what they do and they're probably going to kill you. So. Okay. Demon Souls is probably easier, but Elden is still tough. But I mean, any of them. It's not that hard, I don't the only the only boss I had any any like substantial trouble with was Malik. Is that the first one? The, the first guy at the castle? Uh, the one in Fair Missoula. Uh, you haven't gotten there yet. I don't know where that is. It's after the fire giant. I did the fire giant. It's it's like the wolf guy. Who's like the beast clergy okay. And then he like has like the room of death. I did the fire giant, and then I went to the next place. And they have you fight the like two people at the same time. The god skin duo? Maybe. And you can fight them in a cave too. It's like the fat one and like the skinny one. Right, yeah. But you have to fight them together there. Whereas when you find them in the cave, you fight them one after another. And I can't even beat them one after another. So. Are you stuck there? Uh, pretty much, yeah. I mean, it's what I need right to. After. It's, it's like the most annoying main boss ever. I have to. Uh, is it a dragon or something else? Oh, because uh, there's a dragon that. Well, Sidious Axe is is a secret boss you can fight if you go to like a specific spot and like lay down. Which is like an action. And it's like I'm talking, time to, I'm talking about a dragon that tries to fight you when you get on the roof. Oh, oh, the, like one of the ancient dragons. Uh, you can just run past them. Well, yeah, I know, but you want you want to do it. You want to win. There's a secret dragon boss, which is like one of the main bosses, but it's like not required, and it's like really secret. I need to, what I need to do is just grind like 10 or 15 levels, and then I'll probably be fine. I have a good spot. In the Mogwin, uh, in like the mausoleum, there's this one hill you can get on, and you can just like snipe and throw. There's this one hill on, you can snipe one of those giant crow things and make it like like aggro you and run off like a cliff and like you can just there's like a grace right next to it so you can just keep doing it and it gives you like 37,000 rooms per, per thing oh i definitely don't know that i go in this one little like slight incline where these guys like come out of the ground and they have longer sticks but they're pretty easy to kill and they give like a little more than a thousand, I guess, but there's probably like 20 of them. And then you just go back and camp and you can do that as many times as you want to, so. That works okay, but not, whatever you said, not 20,000 runes. It, like, like, it, it's a lot, and then, like, once you beat the game, and you get, like, the remembrance weapon of the, the final boss, you can go back to that exact spot, and there's a lot of, like, enemies on that hill, and you can just, like, use, like, it's, it's Ash of War, and it's just, like, a huge wave of damage, and it just kills all of them, and it gives you, like, like, 70,000. Like, it's a lot. So after the Red Giant, how long do you think it takes to beat the game after that? Well, you gotta kill an Alakir so that the Rune of Death is unleashed. And then that causes the Urchir to actually burn. 
and that that changes like the whole capital. So if you don't have anything done, like if you have stuff you have to do in lane Dell that you want to do, then I would do it before beating the like the boss in Paralizula because then it changes the whole capital and a lot of stuff is locked out. I've done the capital in the dev, so. There's a lot of stuff you can get there. Um, afterwards, you gotta uh, you gotta fight uh, that one guy, um, Gideon Offman, uh, and then you gotta fight. Uh, you gotta fight. I'm not gonna remember any of this. So. Main boss, and then you gotta fight the final boss, and then the final final boss. So it's basically a boss gauntlet once you, once you get back. So two more bosses. Yeah. yeah. Two more bosses because it's like the final boss and then the final final boss. So four. So four bosses. Yeah. Right. No, but the last one you have to fight like in the same run as the boss. Okay. So. So it's like you kill the so first one. Three bosses, but the last one you fight has a second phase two. What? It's no, it's a totally different boss with a totally different health bar. Yeah, but you have the same health bar after the yeah. first one. Yeah, you have a chance to it's, it's, it's Radagon and then it turns into the same Yeah, so, yeah, so, it's, so it's a phase two. Yeah. But after that, it's, or before that, it's 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 God. And then it turns into Second phase. But it's actually a boss gauntlet once you get back. After you finish Paramazula. Which is like the crumbling, that just is the floating thing that you get transported to after you beat the fire giant. And then, like, the forces not link the chaos players. I understand all the answers to the area of the world. It's a whole there's like what frustrates me about that game though is like sometimes I'll go to a place and like I feel really weak and then like I go somewhere else and like I'm way over level. Like since they don't give you any real direction hardly. Like I feel like if you knew where to go the game would be much more efficient than just like running your head into a wall constantly. And There's only technically like one required boss, two required bosses, and that's that's Margaret the Fell Omen and, and Eddie and Godric the Grafton. Those are the only actually required bosses, and then like one like one more boss with a rune, and then they allow you to go in the lane bell. So it's like most people are gonna go for Renala. Um, and and not usually. What you're saying means nothing to me. I just I just wander around and I just fight stuff as I find it. And if something's too hard, I try to mark it and go back to it. That is how I would play the game. Yes. I would. I mean, I would it's kind of fun because it's like more exploration and stuff. Yeah. But. I would I would run into the wall until until I feel tired of running into the wall. And then I well, there's like a little bit of a hump because at first like you start wandering around and everybody's kind of weak, but then they're just like then they let you loose and then it's, if you go the wrong way, you just die. I mean, you're gonna be like you're not gonna you can't survive doing that way. You got to go this way for a while. Like I mean, if you have played the game so much that you can play it without being hit, then sure. Like there's this, like there's this area, and it's just like it's really bad. It's got these giant crows and dogs, and they just actually kill you, like like, like really easily. And it's like even later on in the game, they're really annoying to kill, even if you're like really over leveled. Like they still kill you so easily. <laughs> All right, guys, we've got just a couple minutes here, so I'm reminding you, you might want to write this down or put an alarm in your phone or something about the quiz if you feel like you need to refresh yourself. We will do the quiz first thing on Monday, so first part of class on Monday. Um, I don't have a traditional puzzle for you today, but I had put this up a few minutes ago. This is the closest that I've got for you. That's not what it says. <laughs> Okay. You're just pretending like you can read it. What does what does this word say? That one. Don't help her. That's easy. I just read the whole thing. What 
What does this word say?